Hi, and welcome to Craggle. We develop tools for the visual effects industry. This is a documentation video about Smart Look, a collection of tools to enhance look development inside Nuke. It contains a snapshot browser, the ability to save looks for all nodes, a slider to quickly toggle between these looks, an import and export window for storing node setups and tool sets, and a resolution slider. Smart Look is highly customizable to your needs, plus you can set individual shortcuts. But first, let's install Smart Look, and then let's explore all of its features. Like any other Craggle product, Smart Look can be installed with Craggle Connect directly inside Nuke. For more information about Connect, please visit the link below. So open Connect, and drag Smart Look to the right. Just click on Buy, and you'll be located to the web page where you can purchase Smart Look. After purchasing, you'll receive a mail including an install code. Now simply click on Install, enter your receive code, and Smart Look will be installed automatically on your machine. After the installation is finished, Smart Look can be accessed via Nuke's menu bar. Just click on Craggle, and in here you'll find the Smart Look menu, which includes several commands. The first section is about the Snapshot browser and taking snapshots, which we will see in just a second. The second section is about creating and editing looks and the looks slider itself. The third section is about the import and export window. The fourth section is about the resolution slider, and finally, the settings. First, let's have a look at the Snapshot Browser. So let's choose Snapshot Browser. The shortcut is the V key. Later, we'll have a look at how to customize this shortcut. The Snapshot Browser lets you take snapshots of your current work. You can take a snapshot by clicking this icon on the top left, or pressing Ctrl-Alt and S for Windows, or Command-Alt and S for Mac. By taking a snapshot, three elements are saved into your currently selected snapshot directory. A snapshot will save all your nodes of your node graph, a preview image, and some metadata. The preview image is the image of your current viewer node's output, meaning the current image that you see in your viewer window. By taking several snapshots, you'll be able to document your work and save different versions of your Nuke scripts. Here on the left, you see all snapshot thumbnails. To preview a snapshot, simply double-click it. You can use the slider to quickly toggle between your snapshots. You can create several snapshot directories and switch between them. To create a new snapshot directory, click the drop down and choose New Snapshot Directory. You decide how to manage your snapshots. For instance, you can set up a snapshot directory for each shot that you're working on or for a specific element, or one for each user. To delete the currently selected snapshot directory, choose Delete Snapshot Directory from the dropdown. You can work collaboratively with the multiple artists in one snapshot directory. All you have to do is point to the same root directory. To do that, let's switch to the snapshot browser settings by clicking this icon. In here, you can set the snapshot root directory. By default, it is in your user directory, Craggle, Smart Look, Snapshots. Let's click this icon to reveal the directory in our browser. Each snapshot directory that you create will create a new directory in that root. So if multiple artists point to the same snapshot root directory by using a global path on a server or in a cloud, they'll be able to work together in one snapshot root directory. Let's have a look at other important settings. Here you can decide to save all nodes, upstream nodes of your current viewer nodes, or selected nodes with taking a snapshot. And here you can set the Snapshots Browser's custom size if clicking this button at the top right. Clicking the button maximizes the Snapshot Browser, and that one obviously closes the Snapshot Browser. Alternatively, you can press the Escape key. Right-click a thumbnail to reveal more options. You can flag a thumbnail to remember it. The flag will be shown at the top left of the thumbnail. You can also write a comment. which will then be shown with this icon. If you hover over it, the comment will be shown as a tooltip. You can always move the selected snapshot to another snapshot directory. Reveal it in your Explorer. Delete it, which you can also do by hovering over it and pressing the D key. 
And you can also flush the current snapshot directory and remove all of its snapshots. Next, let's take a look at the preview section and learn how to navigate inside it. You can zoom into the preview by pressing the plus key and zoom out by using the minus key. Pressing H fits the preview image to the window. To pan around, hold the Alt key while clicking and dragging, like in Nuke. The preview image section includes a right-click menu as well. Here you can insert the node connection of the snapshot into your node graph. By doing that, you have two options. Append, which appends the snapshot onto your node graph. Or Overwrite, which deletes all nodes from your node graph and inserts the snapshot nodes afterwards. These actions are undoable, so no worries if you click the wrong button. You can also flag and comment snapshots in here and clear the preview sections if needed. The Snapshot Browser is a great way of working collaboratively and establishing versions and looks within a team. In addition, SmartLook offers a node-based versioning feature as well. This works on all nodes. Let's have a look at how this works. For example, let's create a grade node and set a color. Now let's right-click and choose Set Look. The current knob states are saved as a version. The node gains a new tab called Looks. And a new Look container group was created that will include all looks for this Nuke script. The created look is now accessible with a button here at the bottom. Let's switch back and change the colors. And create a new look. To set it, you can either right-click again or Set Look or click the new button in the Looks tab. Let's create a third look and tint the image green, and click the new button. Let's say we need to update the first look. So let's click the first look button. The node changes to look number one. Let's do our changes. And click the update button. And let's update look number one, so let's choose look one from the dropdown. To delete a look from the dropdown, click the delete button and choose the look to delete from the dropdown. As we have now created several looks for our grade node, let's slide between them. Select the grade node and hold the E key. The version slider shows up. By sliding it, you toggle between all created looks for that grade node. This makes switching between different look versions very fast and simple. You can also set up looks for multiple nodes in one go. For instance, let's select the nodes and set a look for all of them simultaneously. Select them and navigate to Craggle, Smart Look, Set Looks. Or press Ctrl-Alt-L for Windows or Command-Alt-L for Mac. The looks are created for all nodes in one go. Let's do some changes and set another look. And another one. You can now switch between them by using the version slider. To remove the looks of all selected nodes, let's choose Craggle, Smart Look, Delete Selected Nodes Looks. By the way, the looks are saved within your Nuke script and remain as long as you don't delete them. Smart Look lets you export and import nodes and toolsets from globally accessible toolset directories. To store a node setup, let's select our grade node and navigate to Craggle, Smart Look, Export Node Toolset, or use the default shortcut, Alt-Shift-E. The export window shows up. It includes several elements. At the top, you can enter a name for the node setup. You can use that slider to enlarge and reduce the size of the tree. The tree contains two categories, nodes and tool sets. The node section can be used to save node setups of single nodes. As we have selected a grade node, the grade class will be listed in here by default. Let's set a name and press save. The node setup was saved as a preset. In a minute, we'll see how to import it. Let's create a tool set. So let's select multiple nodes and export them by pressing Alt-Shift-E. 
Let's click the toolset items, right-click and choose New Category, call it Helpers, and click OK. The Helpers category was created. To choose where to save the toolset in, we have to simply select the desired category. So let's select Helpers and set a name. By the way, using that drop-down, you can switch between multiple toolsets, root directories, so-called pools. To create a new pool, simply choose New Pool. Enter a name and choose a directory. You can either create a new pool directory or point to an already existing pool. Having the ability of using multiple pools become very powerful as you are now able to create an infinite amount of toolset directories. So for instance, you can create a private pool, a global pool for your team, and a pool for each show that you're working on. You decide how to manage them. Let's now import from a pool. To open the import browser, let's navigate to Craggle, Smart Look, and choose Import Node Toolset. The default shortcut is Alt-Shift-I. The import window looks similar to the export window. Let's import our grade node. So let's navigate to the Nodes section and expand the grade directory. And in here, we find our grade setup. To insert it into the node graph, simply double-click it. Let's also import our toolsets. So let's navigate to the Toolsets section and open Helpers. Double-click our tool set to insert it into the node graph. You can also right-click and choose Insert from here, or reveal the item in your Explorer. Refresh the browser. And if you have set Advanced User Rights in the Smart Look Settings window, you can also rename and delete items directly in here. To search for nodes and tool sets, you can enter some characters in here and filter the list. So once the pool grows and becomes bigger and bigger, you can still access items very quickly. Nuke offers the great feature to set the resolution of your current viewer node. By using this drop-down, and here you can change it and reduce processing time. But it always takes a second to find the tiny menu and set up the desired value from the drop-down. Smart Look offers a resolution slider that lets you change your resolution faster than ever. By default, the shortcut is N, so hold N. And by sliding the slider to the right, you decrease the resolution, and by sliding it to the left, you increase it. This makes switching between different resolutions very quick and simple. Finally, let's have a quick look at Smart Look Settings. To open the Settings window, let's navigate to Craggle, Smart Look, Settings. The Settings window is divided into four sections. Let's have a look at some important settings. In here, you can enable or disable tooltips on all Smart Look's main widgets. When selecting multiple nodes and creating looks in one go, as we have previously seen, you can ignore some node classes and prevent them from creating looks. In this case, the default is set to Viewer Nodes, dots, backdrop nodes, and sticky nodes, but you can add more node classes. To get a nodes class, simply select it and press I. The node class will be shown in here. The next section lets you manage all your pools of your import and export pools windows. Right-click the table to create new pools, reveal them in your explorer, rename and remove them from the list. By removing them, they won't be physically deleted from your hard drive, but simply won't be shown anymore in this list, neither in your import window nor in your export window. The third section, Hotkeys, lets you create and manage shortcuts for all major commands inside Smart Look. So for instance, you can create a custom shortcut for launching the Snapshot browser, taking a snapshot, import and exporting nodes, setting looks, and many more. By clicking the Save button at the bottom, these shortcuts get immediately applied and you don't need to restart Nuke. In the Advanced section, you can take even more control and enable hidden features. For more information about the Advanced Settings section, please refer to our documentation in the Settings Advanced section. So this was a documentation video about Smart Look, a collection of tools to enhance look development inside Nuke. Using Smart Look, you can work collaboratively in a team and develop looks, shared node setups and tool sets, create snapshots, flag and comment them, and develop multiple node looks and versions. I hope you will like this tool as much as we do.